Pumping area on the southeast Sinai, a couple of kilometers north of Dahab, Egypt on the bank of the Red Sea. The Blue Hole is a submarine sinkhole, with a most extreme profundity inside the opening of a little more than 100 meters, 328 feet. There is a shallow opening to the ocean around 6 meters, 20 feet, profound, known as the seat, and a 26 meters, 85 feet, in length burrow, known as the arch, whose roof is at a profundity of 55 meters, 181 feet and whose base falls away as it arrives at the offshore side to around 120 meters, 394 feet. On the toward the ocean side the floor drops steeply to more than 1,000 meters, 3, 300 feet. The gap and the encompassing region have a plenitude of coral and reef fish. The Blue Hole is famous for free diving in light of the profundity straightforwardly available from shore and the absence of momentum. The jumps a nearby elevated jumper casualty rate for any plunge site on the planet with evaluations of somewhere in the range of 130 and 200 fatalities of jumpers in ongoing years. The reasons why this site is the most risky on the planet are not plainly understood with different clarifications given for its high mishap rodent. The blue hole was verifiably evaded by Badu and cleansed individuals who possessed the territory. There was a nearby Bedouin legend that the Blue Hole is reviled by the phantom of a young lady who suffocated herself there to escape from an orchestrated marriage. The Sinai Peninsula was involved by Israel from the Six-Day War of 1967 until Israel returned it to Egypt in 1982. During the Israeli occupation, the Blue Hole built up a huge worldwide notoriety as a plunge site. In 1968 a gathering of Israeli jumpers drove by Alex Shell were the first to plunge the gap with current scuba jumping. During the jump, they saw the submerged arch. Since 1982 the Blue Hole has gotten occupied with recreational jumpers and is plunged pretty much consistently by recreational jumpers. Neighborhood jump focuses take properly qualified jumpers to 30 meters at the L Bells or Bells to Blue Hole locales. The bell section is from the shore further along from the blue hole. At 26 meters at the base of the bells is a little curve that ought not be mistaken for the curve in the blue hole itself. The plunge is then a divider jump that wraps up the blue hole saddle at a profundity of 7 meters. Recreational jumpers don't get the opportunity to see the blue hole curve while doing the bells to blue. Hole plunge. The blue hole itself is not any more risky than some other Red Sea plunge site yet jumping through during the a lowered passage, which exists in the Blue Hole site, is an extraordinary jump that has brought about numerous mishaps and fatalities. The quantity of Blue Hole fatalities isn't recorded. One source gauges 130 jumpers passed on during the 15-year time frame from 2005 to 2020, averaging more than 8 every year. Another case is the same number of as 200. This incorporates some swimming passings at the surface inconsequential to plunging the arch. Most of jumper fatalities were experienced, including exceptionally prepared specialized jumpers and plunging teachers. The Egyptian Chamber for Diving and Waters Ports presently stations a police officer at the Blue Hole to guarantee jumpers are plunging with an insured control who will ensure security systems are followed. The roof of the arch is 55 meters, 170 feet, profound, which requires reasonable preparing, and gear as 40 meters is commonly viewed as the breaking point for recreational plunging. The arch presents little issue for reasonably qualified specialized jumpers. The fundamental test is gas the board in light of the fact that any waiting or blunders at this profundity, in addition to an opportunity to arrange the flat segment, will require an excess of a solitary tank of breathing gas to do securely. On the off chance that gas isn't painstakingly arranged the jumper may need adequate air for the decompression stops or run out of air through and through. The principal reasons recommended for the mishap rate incorporate that the reputation of the site holes in jumpers and presents a test that entices numerous who do not have the essential experience or capabilities. Openness of the at Peekable, warm waters of the Red Sea makes the jump look more favorable than it is. At more than 55 meters, and with an overhead situation, the plunge requires progress specialized affirmation, the Tech 60 as a base. Beguiling passage to the arch isn't anything but difficult to track down in light of the roundabout line between the blue hole and untamed water. 
Jumpers who miss the passage may accidentally keep on dropping past it, while the floor proceeds down to well more than 100 meters giving no visual profundity reference. Time taken to go through the arch might be disparaged. The passage seems shorter than it really is a direct result of the clearness of the water, the light at the external end and the absence of reference focuses. Jumpers report that the passage has all the earmarks of being under 10 meters long, however has been estimated as 26 meters in addition. There is as often as possible a current streaming internal through the curve into the blue hole, expanding the time it takes to swim through and expanding gas utilization. Profundity and the time taken to discover and explore the passage definitely makes this jump a decompression plunge requiring potentially protracted decompression stops on rising so as to dodge. Decompression infection. Likewise. The pace of jumping gas utilization increments with profundity bringing about jumpers either getting running on empty or starting the rising with deficient gas to make the decompression stops. Required. Probability of nitrogen narcosis is critical at this profundity, creating turmoil prompting misguided thinking in a previously requesting circumstance. Despite the fact that the impacts of nitrogen narcosis might be alleviated by utilizing heliox the arches gas you to jump on a solitary gas tank. Hypothetically, the arch can be jumped on a solitary 11 liter tank, and frequently has been. However this is perilously near the base gas necessity for the plunge and relies upon a casual jumper with a low gas utilization rate submitting no blunders or ditherings during the plunge. Jumping the arch without a phase tank and without thorough gas arranging has brought about suffocating. Specialized jumper going under the arch. Seashore and surface of the water at Blue Hole. Two free divers at Blue Hole. Yuri Lipsky. An outstanding demise was that of Yuri Lipsky, a 22-year-old Russian-Israeli jumping educator on the 28th of April 2000 at a profundity of 115 meters after an uncontrolled descent. Yuri conveyed a camcorder, which shot his passing. This has made it the most popular demise at the site and a standout amongst other known jumping passings in the world. The video shows Yuri in an automatic and uncontrolled plunge. In the long run arriving on the ocean bottom at 115 meters where he freezes, eliminates his controller and attempts to fill his lightness compensator however can't rise. At 115 meters he would have been dependent upon serious nitrogen narcosis, which may have weakened his judgment, initiated pipe dreams and created frenzy and turmoil. Lipsky had a solitary tank thought to be air. Lipsky's body was recouped the next day by Tarek Omar, one of the world's preeminent profound water jumpers, in line with Lipsky's mother. Omar had before twice cautioned Lipsky against endeavoring the dive. 9. On the base, Omar discovered Lipsky's head protector camera intended. The video it contained is accessible on YouTube, named Deadly Diving Accident Caught on Tape. Omar says, Two days after we recouped his remaining parts and gave his mother his assets and hardware, she came to me asking that I assist her with dismantling them so she can pack them. The camera ought to have been harmed or even broken inside and out on the grounds that I have discovered it at a profundity of 115 meters, and it is just intended to continue 75 meters. At the same time, amazingly, the camera was all the while working. We played it and his mom was there. I lament that his mom will have this eternity in the event that I had realized the recording existed I'd have overflowed it. I think what truly irritated and disheartened me about it was that his mother has it now, she has the recording of her own child suffocating. Tarek Omar